This week on Canada in the Rough, we're hunting in Newfoundland. Paul Beasley is hunting the rock with Island Safaris. He's in search of mature black bears and big bull moose. This is an adventure you will not want to miss. Join us this week on Canada in the Rough. Well, this scene might look a little bit familiar to some of you and that's because back in season nine a number of years ago my brother Kevin actually was started his first Newfoundland moose hunt in this exact same spot sighting in his rifle before he headed out for a hunt we actually arrived last night but the weather was terrible heavy winds heavy rain we actually decided that you know what we were going to sleep in and uh, that wasn't a bad thing because we got in pretty late anyway so we slept in this morning we've waited for the weather to clear it's still pretty windy but we're going to head out for an afternoon hunt just going to shoot the rifle before we get going let's do it Perfect. Drilled it. It's good. We're ready for hunting. Well, I've been going for all safaris now pretty close for 18 years. It's located in the Bay Bridge area, area 14, and we guide for moose and beer. The scenery we got out is beautiful scenery. We got the mountains, we got the valleys, but this is rough country hiking and when you come honey, if you could walk, you we go you should go to the mountains. But we got guides to do take you in machines for hunting. So I don't think anywhere else in the world is as good as this. Because the, the people, the hospitality is just, just wonderful. Like too many people is no good to me the one time. I crowded. But I like to be free, free as a bird. Well, we were just doing some glassing from a vantage point back there and we spotted a moose up here on this hill. So we've got a fair bit of elevation to make up, but basically we saw it from a distance, couldn't tell exactly what it is, but figured even if it's a cow, hopefully there's a bull nearby. So we're gonna go in for a closer look. Yeah. This wind day, eh? like you just you can't hear anything, you can't see anything. Ah, there she goes. Yeah, if it was a boar, I need would be found. Uh, yeah, he'd be right on her butt. Well, that was pretty cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go up and just order now there and have another look. Alright, look for her daddy. Yeah. Awesome spot. Oh, like beautiful. everywhere you look, you think there could be one right there. Oh yeah. Oh, there's moose coming up out of that far valley right over here. Looks like looks like a cow in the lead. There's something behind it. Ah, no, it's a calf, cow calf combination. I see sunshine, huh? That's a good sign, though. That's nice to see. He's here somewhere. Oh yeah, oh, yeah absolutely. Oh, yeah, He's in this. There's gotta be if there's these cows. Oh yeah. Lots of place for an oil here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> um, yeah. You ain't got to work here or another way. <laughs> no, I tell you, you look, you look around and you just say, wow. One minute they're there, the next minute they're gone. Yeah. Yeah, and really, I mean, he could be oh. anywhere in what we see. It's an exciting morning, I tell you. The weather is just beautiful for moose hunting. We got perfectly calm, zero wind. I don't know about later today, I think they are calling for a little bit more of it, but right now, maybe we can get a really good morning hunt in. We're about to jump in a boat. We're heading, from what I understand, we're heading up this like little river system out into a bigger lake, and uh, we're heading to a big old burn that we're gonna sit and call and glass and just see if we can't stir something up, but you never know when you're boating. We could spot something along the way too. Let's get hunting. As it got light, Paul and Nelson spotted a few cows high on a hill, but with no visible bulls nearby, they made their way to shore to start their hike into the old burn. Let's find a moose. Oh yeah. Yeah, the rock, I think it's pretty near over. Yeah, it's getting definitely getting late. It is, yeah. But it doesn't mean we can't find them. Oh, no. They're we, still here. We can work on it.
Let me step scare those trees. Good shot, Paul. Good shot. Yeah, he's going down, Paul. He's going down. Yeah, he's done. He's there. He is. He's down. He's down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Nelson. That's incredible. Incredible, right? Absolutely Calling incredible. Forces, that, eh? Awesome. Good job. A couple times there when he held up, I thought, oh my goodness, I think we're done. Okay. But you, you coaxed him in with that raking. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Well, Thank well. you. That was incredible. Let's go lay our hands on him. That's a beautiful bull. Isn't it beautiful? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. don't you love it when they only go five or ten yards, Nelson? Love it. It don't work. <laughs> Let's have a look at this boy. Just give him props up. <sighs> Get him up. There we go. What a beautiful animal. I got to tell you. Now I know in the, in the east, especially Newfoundland, you guys all count your points, right? That's right, yep. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Does that count? Yep. Twelve, thirteen, a fourteen Four. pointer. Great. Not bad, Not eh? Not bad for a good morning. <laughs> early morning. And pretty early morning. Pretty early. Yep. Not, the sun is barely even up over the sky, and what a day. Okay. I mean, I got to tell you, Newfoundland is a treat to come to. It is just, the topography here is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I love being able to see so far. Those calls echo out over those hills. It's just, it's that's just lovely. awesome. Great. People, they're not so bad either. No again. <laughs> <laughs> no. The food's been amazing, amazing, and the moose hunting is just awesome. Yeah. Just awesome. Well, you did a great job, Colin. <laughs> I, I couldn't have been more excited. It was just it was just one of those blood pumping, adrenaline filled mornings. Yeah. It <laughs> yeah. yeah. makes you realize you're alive and grateful to be sure. so. Well then check out this body, eh? This big animal. Is that right? not a big animal? That's huge. Holy cow, and yeah. I think we gotta carry him all the way back to the oh. boat. <laughs> I'm glad you're strong. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well just awesome. Well, we'll get the knives right. out and we'll get to work. Right. Awesome. Well, we often get asked about what do we do with all these animals that we shoot each and every year. Every animal that we shoot gets, goes into the freezer, whether it's our own or a friend's or someone in need, these animals all get used. But a big part of the job is what happens after the trigger is pulled between now and getting that animal into someone's freezer. You know, the job right here, this is a big one, and this is a really important one uh, to, that, that dictates how well you enjoy your meat later on. You're going to watch us, we're going to show you, we're going to peel the skin back off, we're going to quarter this animal, and then we're going to take it back to camp for proper processing. But a big part of this process is the knives that we use. These are the main tool. And there's a couple main, I think, main features that it's important for you as a viewer to understand. While there may be all kinds of different blade configurations and handle types and different things for fit and feel and some functionality, I think the two most important things you need to know the difference of is fixed blade versus the folding knife. Basically, they offer some convenience things. When I'm doing a big job like this I do prefer to have a fixed blade just because there's nothing moving but folders offer great uh, convenience for carrying them in your pocket but both of them need to be sharp that's the most important part and uh, and ultimately um, you want something that can hold an edge and that, that's where good strong long-lasting steel is important ready to go there are many ways to field dress a moose but this approach is the best system we've found when you want to take out full quarters without carrying around frame packs while hunting First, slice through the hide from the neck to the groin, then cut through the meat along the brisket and sternum to expose the bone. Using a hatchet, split the chest bone in half to gain access to the chest and stomach cavity. Separate the innards from the moose using your knife and pull the contents out, making sure to save the heart, as it's an organ that many people enjoy eating. Counting from the back, make a slice between the third and fourth rib to distribute the weight evenly among the front and hind quarters. Use the hatchet again to split the spine in half and then separate the quarters individually. Remove each lower leg at the knee. Then on each quarter, make four vertical slices through the hide to create two straps so you can wear the quarter like a backpack. Secure with a piece of string along your chest and you're ready to start your hike out with a full quarter. Oh, 
Well, that was quite a day we had yesterday. Oh my goodness, what an exciting morning. You know, we still have a few days left in camp, so we decided rather than just spend the time playing cards or games, watching TV, whatever in camp, we got a bear tag. So we're out here again this morning. We're out gonna get up on some high hills. We're gonna glass some blueberry uh, patches and stuff and see if we can't find us a Newfoundland black bear. Let's get hunting. He is down, Nelson, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. You have put us on this bear, like, as soon as we get to the top of the mountain. You called it from the time we sat in the truck this morning waiting for daylight. You said we want to get to the top of that hill and we're going to look out over the back. Yeah, we're five minutes late though, <laughs> current time. <laughs> I think we can handle that. Oh, I think we could do it with five oh, minutes. Oh my goodness. Walking over the hill and 200 yards away, there's our bear. Yeah. That was That's incredible. Kind of we didn't even get a chance to take in this beautiful vista. No. Like, look at this. This is some of the most gorgeous country, and yeah. what a privilege it is to be able to come here and hunt this with You're you. You're welcome. It is gorgeous. Isn't it? Awesome, man. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Well, we've got a bear to skin out. That's right. <laughs> we got all day doing. <laughs> awesome. Hey. <laughs> well, nice say. Eh? Nelson by. Hey, we got him. We got him. We got, we got him. him. Real nice. Oh my goodness, let's get a look at him. Check out that hide, Nelson. These fall hides are amazing. I mean, this is what, mid October? It's October. Wow, it actually more resembles like the spring coast back home where they've got all that nice thick down and below. Yeah. But that is just it's perfect. Getting ready for the winter. Yeah, look at that head. <laughs> nice say. Eh? We got lots of bears, tons and tons of bears. Well, and I think it's amazing that you can come on a hunt, have a moose tag, actually two black bear tags, tags with your license. Right. So, you know, you come out here for a week, you can shoot a great moose, you can shoot two, two black two, bears, two. Yeah. all in one hunt. All in one hunt, all in safari, place to come. Absolutely, what yeah, a great, great time we've yeah. had. Well, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And you, you did it all within a kilometer of the truck. That's not too bad. Not too bad, eh? <laughs> well, there's well, some good eating here. You know, yeah. back home in Ontario, these things are considered food. Like, yeah. we, everybody eats these. Yeah. I know as in the Newfoundland, they don't eat a lot no. of them. But back home, this is what everybody yeah. eats. More and more people are getting into it. Are they? Oh, yeah. And so they should. It, so, yeah. it, it helps the moose population yeah, to knock these things down a little bit. Safe. We have tons, tons of beers. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I definitely encourage anyone to come in here oh, and try yeah, it. Oh, yeah, with two. Holland Ton of fun. Awesome. Let's well, get the knives out and get to get work. Some work. <laughs> well, a full meat shack and a set of great antlers at the end of a hunt. What more could you ask for? We have had an incredible week here at Island Safaris in Newfoundland. I gotta tell you folks, I love this province. It has always been very good to us. And I encourage any of you, if you ever have the chance to come to Newfoundland and do one of these hunts, you've gotta do it. I'm your host, Paul Beasley from Canada Rough. Remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada. Be proud of your hunting heritage. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our page and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.